Hi there, this is Brother Brimman. This is Rosie R. Dominic. I'm going to start at the beginning of this video with a kitten because kittens are cute and that's how I get people's attention. She's seven months old. Rosie, say meow. Anyway, um, she's a good kitten. Okay, so basically I'm in Walsenburg, Colorado. I want to mention that I have many neighbors that are dear neighbors. They are gems. They are good neighbors. Then there's a few that uh, live their own miserable lives. And I want to mention uh, something that uh, I had like a dream or something that a kid was at school and was denied a meal. And I woke up in sweats and I'm like, oh my God, you know, it has happened. And then, so today I, I go down to the community center and let me back, rewind just for a second. A few days ago, I saw a bunch of food getting thrown away and I'm like, why are you throwing away the food? I, I can use that or other people can use that. And can you just put it in a container, refrigerate it and, um, you know, feed, feed people. And they're like, oh no, we can't do that. Uh, we have to throw it away. And I'm like, what? Because when I was doing volunteer work for Meals on Wheels in uh, Manatee Springs and Colorado Springs, no food got thrown away. If there's any food left over, it got put to use. It was not just thrown in the trash. So I saw 17 meals uh, worth of food being thrown in the trash. And I'm looking at it and I'm all, almost crying. So I question that. And so getting back to the, the uh, dream with the kid, being denied food. I went to the community center today. And, you know, I did, uh, was it, when I questioned the food being thrown away, I made a few calls. I left voicemails on a few local uh, numbers with the Meals on Wheels. And then, so I showed up to the uh, community center and uh, got a message saying that I'm banned from Meals on Wheels and I'm also banned from the community center. I'm like, what? And I was asked to leave, so I left. And I called a few county commissioners and they said, nobody's banned from the building. And then a couple hours later, I called the uh, Center for Aging, uh, the state of Colorado, that overlooks Silver Key and overlooks the Meals on Wheels. And they said, no, I'm not barred from Meals on Wheels. There was probably a misunderstanding somewhere. And they asked, well, did, did I get a meal? And I said, no, I'm still hungry. I'm not able to cook. I have Parkinson's. I have a unique strain, but I'm not able to cook hardly at all. So I rely on those meals. Um, and so then I made some other calls. And so I spent several hours talking to people statewide, nationwide, Meals on Wheels, national number, state number, Center for Aging, you know, all this stuff. And then now they want me to have a meeting with Veronica on Friday. And I said, I'll try to get there around 1130. But right now I'm I'm thinking, this other media company said, just get a handwritten statement from her, handwritten and signed, saying that I am back in the Meals on Wheels program. Have the director sign it and date it. And then I don't have to sit there and have a meeting and waste my time. I value my time. I do part-time cell phone and internet security. I help write repositories, and sometimes I'm not good at it. I wrote a few lines here and there, but I'm not that rich um, because of the Parkinson's and because of the autism. I'm not able to work full-time. Let me go back to the cat for a second. Hold on. Hi, Rosie. How are you? Okay, now back to me. So I just wanted to share some cliff notes that... Um, when there's this misunderstanding, it, it, it's usually from people that are just either A, miserable, and they're still like either living with their parents or relying on money from their parents after the age of 18. And I used to make a lot of videos that were geared for autistics to give them hope, but now I'm making some videos for non-autistics because many autistics do know what it's like to help a parent to pay for the parent's medical bills for several years and to pay for the parent's medications and so on. But as I learned recently that many non-autistics don't know how to do that. Never have. Never had to worry about um, have, having to pay for you know the parent's medical stuff. But it is what it is. So I told a friend of mine 
that with what happened today, today, this is just the bare bones beginning. This is just the beginning of what's about to happen in the future. And you're like, what do you mean? It's like, well, you know what? I live life to the fullest. I really do. And I really don't care what else happens. If people say this, say that, that's fine. I can look back and say, I had a good life. I lived the lives of probably nine or ten people. I was a radar engineer. And I have PTSD. I have autism. Stage four Parkinson's. A unique strain. But I do do take heavy meds. So some of these people are just so sad. They're, they're unhappy. And they take it out on other people. And a couple months ago when somebody was being controlling to me. I decided I don't want to. I don't want, I can't live here. It's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call my bank and ask if I could borrow a couple hundred thousand dollars so I could buy a house. Not here. So I did. You know, I'm going to miss a lot of friends. I'll still visit Walsenburg. You know, this house is rented. And I'm sitting in a rented house because I was here doing maintenance. So, it's just amazing how some of these people that, that are not autistics they're so unhappy and, you know, they, they, they get so full of fear just because I might question why some food was thrown away or what motives are of a person being controlling. But some of these people that were trying to control me, they have gotten better, but I already bought the house and I'm already moving away. So, I'll be damned. I'll be damned if I'm going to take a chance on that happen, happening to me again. Unless I live under their roof. Because one of the things I said to a few people was, I will send you a notarized copy of my advanced directors and you are going to be responsible for anything that happens, including, including covering what my kids deserve, etc. And guess what? The controlling issue stopped. Because years ago, I messed with pe I messed with somebody that was being controlling, and sent a copy of my advance directives, had it notarized, and sent it to their address. And they're like, "What's this about?" It's like, "Well, if you're going to control and say I'm not doing this good enough and this and that, you're going to handle this because I'm not going to do it." And you know, it got that person to think it was just a copy, but still. Um, again. Some of the videos that I make, I can't even talk. Some of the videos that I make are geared for autistics, but most of them are have been geared for non-autistics that don't know the challenges and have not done even, not even one-tenth, not even one-tenth of the challenges that many autistic people have done, whether it be become an engineer, paying their, their uh, parents' medical bills, or you know any of that stuff. I forced myself to get out there. And I'm in Walsenburg, Colorado. I work for a radio station, global radio station. And and uh, that's the last thing I ever wanted to do is get in broadcasting. Some days I could barely talk, so it's an auto DJ and I use my artificial intelligence software. That scared the crap out of me. I saw the movie, um, The Hell 2000. No, The Hell 5000. Uh, was it 2001 a Space Odyssey or something? God, that scared me. Guess what? That's part of what I do for a living. So we're going to end with the cat. Rosie's looking at me. She knows I'm upset. Say goodbye, Rosie. So anyway, I'm glad I have a kitten. And, uh, you know, if people want to misunderstand and fly off the handle, that that's that's their issue. Um, I know what's in my heart. And if somebody wants to send me to do a polygraph test, you bet. I'm not afraid. I'll sit down and have those things hooked up, whatever. I've done it before. No big deal. So I'd rather bring me in here at KFY Radio in Walsenburg, Colorado. Uh, March 1th, 2023. I'm going to end this video with a cat.